I'm gonna share with you five delicious easy to make meals that I eat almost every week and that don't spike my blood sugars. So if you're a diabetic and if you're looking for inspiration what to make for breakfast, lunch or dinner, then you're in the right place. Let's go! This video is sponsored by My Diabetes. Thank you for your support. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tom. I'm a diabetic and on this channel, I help you navigate your diabetes journey. I got a request from three ladies, Theresa, Margie and Carla to make a video about low carb meals that I like. So here are my top five. My number five favorite low carb meal is ham with eggs sunny side up or scrambled with avocado and tomato salad. I eat this for breakfast way too often. And this meal has very little carbs so I don't actually need to bolus for it unless I eat it with a slice of bread. It's super easy to make and it just tastes amazing. Now I like to fry the ham and eggs for about five minutes on medium heat. And during this time I make my tomato and avocado salad. I like to add some coriander under lemon juice and a bit of salt which makes the salad even more fresh. Now on the dates when I want to eat some carbs I might add a slice or two of toasted protein bread which makes the breakfast experience more crunchy and even more delicious. My number four favorite low carb meal is green curry chicken and vegetable soup. And this one too has almost zero carbs and the carbs will mainly depend on what kind of vegetables you add in your soup. In today's video I'm using zucchini, green pepper and carrot. So there will be very little carbs on one portion of the soup. And it's so easy to make. You just need green curry paste, which you mix with coconut milk and then add your chicken, your veggies, some crushed garlic and chicken broth and cook for a few minutes. At the end I usually add some fish sauce and lime juice to enhance the taste a little bit. And this meal is a bit spicy, which is great. But if you want to spice it up even more, you can add some red chilies and I also add basil to look it more fancy. My wife and I love to eat this curry for lunch. It's really, really tasty. By the way, if you want more carby version of this dish, then you can leave out the chicken broth and have it more as the sauce and serve it with the rice. My number three favorite low carb meal is roasted Indian style cauliflower. Again this is a super simple meal and it's perfect for snacking or as a side dish. You just separate the cauliflower into smaller pieces and blanch it in salted boiling water just for a couple minutes. In the meantime you mix olive oil, coriander, cumin, dried chili peppers, almonds, lemon juice and garlic in a bowl. And then you just need to mix the dried up cauliflower with the spices and pop it in the oven at 200 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes until it's nice and crispy. And when it's all done you can sprinkle it with some fresh coriander to make it even more delicious. Now my number two favorite low carb meal that I learned just recently but I just can't stop making it is an open faced tuna salad sandwich. This one is full of protein and omega-3 fatty acids from the fish which I heard are really good for your heart. It literally takes only 10 minutes to make this meal. You just need a can of tuna in oil. I usually get rid of most of the oil and then we add some finely chopped pickles and carrots. We mix everything together with some low carb Thousand Island dressing or cocktail sauce. And if the salad is too thick you can use my secret trick and add some juice from the pickles into your salad. My friends this will take the texture and the taste of the salad to the next level. You will now be in the professional league. Finally we add two finely chopped boiled eggs and we're done. Now if you want a super low carb version of this meal you can eat the tuna salad with some avocado or some steamed broccoli. But if you want some carbs then I love to spread a generous amount of the tuna mixture on a couple slices of protein or whole wheat bread. And this is so good I really can't stop making and eating this meal. Now before we get to my favorite number one low carb meal and the winner of today let me know in the comments do you eat low carb and what is your favorite low carb dish and the winner is chicken and zucchini meatballs now this one requires a little bit more time and skills but it's totally worth it we start by grating a couple zucchini now we need to get rid of all the water in the zucchini and you can do that by seasoning the zucchini with salt and let it stand for 10 minutes and then squeeze all the juice out. In the meantime, I usually mix finely chopped chicken, eggs, 
garlic, some parmesan cheese, black pepper and a pinch of salt. And then you can add zucchini and herbs of your choice. My favorite one is myram and I like to add a lot of it. Then I mix it all together and create medium sized meatballs which I pop in the oven at 220 degrees celsius or 430 degrees fahrenheit for about half an hour. By the way if you want some healthy carbs in your meatballs you can add some oats. They work really well in this recipe. And then you can just enjoy the most delicious low carb meal ever. You can eat it hot, you can eat it cold, for lunch, for dinner, as a snack. It's a perfect meal. Guys, I'm sure that none of the meals that I share with you today will spike your blood sugars a lot. But I'm not a nutrition specialist, so please take everything with a pinch of salt. And now go watch this video with 5 tips for lower blood sugars. I will see you there. Ciao!